But what about cutting back on the brat kartoffel? General Nadine. Hello, welcome, Hello. welcome. Don't be scared. Great, enjoy this. This is bribery. Thank you very much. Welcome. Sit down, enjoy, relax. These are the questions of the German Democratic uh, Republic. Okay, very good, all right. Well, ask me, don't relax, relax. What, what do you like uh, in but Germany? I, I must say, uh, it's uh, very nice to be in uh, Germany. Jachnun, the gates, the gates, and death to the West. I have a very mixed feelings about your country, Germany. I uh, once paid your Dieter Bohlen. Dieter yeah, Bohlen. Two million euros to perform at my palace. He only performed for 20 minutes and he gave three of my staff herpes, two chambermaids and my butler Mahmoud. Although he tells the press that it was his wife, it was actually me who fractured his penis. Uh, how would you stop world hunger? General. What? What, what? How would you stop world hunger? Well, for a start, I would keep Angela Merkel away from the buffet. I think a redistribution of the food is the answer. If each day my fat friend Kim Jong-un, the son of Kim Jong-il, if he were to just give up one of his breakfasts, a whole town could eat. And so what is your relationship to Angela Merkel? Well, I think Merkel, 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 Merkel. I think Merkel should have a sex change and become a woman. Do I hear rumors that uh, is, is she a man? Is Merkel, what is Merkel? What would you like to... No, have? I want to know the truth. I mean, relax, relax, welcome. Uh, she's a woman. She's a woman? Yes. Really? It's so adorable when a woman has power. It's like putting a dog on roller skates. It means nothing to them, but it's very charming for us. The only way Merkel could be less popular is if she took her shirt off. You know, she should be replaced by somebody respected internationally, like uh, von Gutenberg or Mel Gibson. I'm Italian, what do you think? You are Italian. Yes. Do you, do you think, what do you think about Berlusconi and Monty? You know, I was very close to uh, Berlusconi. You know, we share many of the same views, friends and STDs. Yes. Yes, I don't need you to say yes. I know the answer is yes. By the way, how, uh, how is your family? I, I didn't see my family for a week because... The, yeah, don't worry, they're, they're having a great time. Yeah, they're having a great time. They're having yeah. a great time. They're expecting a great start of your movie. So. Yes, they are, which are released under, under the 17th. Yeah, FL, we will. Yeah, they will be released on the 17th. <laughs> Cool. Depending on your review. Yeah, that's the best movie I've ever seen. Great. Really. Uh, what, is, what are your thoughts uh, on the Pope and the Vatican? You know, I am a great supporter of the Pope, or to use his correct title, the King of the Pedophiles. Although I don't really agree with his views on the birth control. You know, there are other methods of contraception other than just having anal sex with 14-year-old boys. You know, when it comes to the abortion debate, which he always talking about, I like to take the center ground and just abort the girls. Why do you hate USA? The US and I, they are the worst. They are behind the global human tragedy of the Arab Spring. We dictators are suffering a victimization and brutality for supposed crimes like embezzling money, oppressing our people and doing a tiny little bit of genocide. Sanctions are now crippling us. My friend Ahmadinejad, he can't even afford a tie. Yeah, and also Assad has, from Syria, he's now run out of toilet paper. Last week, he had to wipe his own uh, uh, sticker with a t-shirt. Did you have idols when you were a young dictator? You know, I was just like any other teenager from the 70s. You know, I had the usual Hitler and Stalin posters and Pol Pot action figures. At the school, I was always in trouble. The number of times I had to write out 
100 times I must not direct the teacher. Do you have some advice for dictators in the future? Yes, as I told uh, Mubarak from Egypt a thousand times, if you get Wi-Fi in your palace, put a fucking password on it. The people will start using it. When will the people of Badia get the rights of free speech and a good internet connection? What is, what is free speech? Free speech is when... I never heard of that term. It's, it's, it's like people say what they think. <laughs> that is hilarious. Ridiculous idea. The internet is being rolled out across Wadiya and will soon be available in all 650 rooms in my palace. What must a man or a woman do to be your servant? Well, they must first be born. And that's it. Could you give us some examples why someone is going to be executed in Wadiya? For asking a stupid fucking question. Well, or also for infidelity. If a man is caught cheating on his wife, she will be executed. Because you look so good. Of course. What shampoo do you use? But the, what is this stupid question? I use the cheap stuff. As Saddam told me, shampoo is shampoo. Don't waste your money. You know, when that guy got brought out of the hole, his hair smelled of blossoms. Wonderful blossoms. Do you have a message to all people outside Wadiya and to other dictators in the world? Yes, listen. Achtung, Achtung, listen up. Achtung, Achtung. You will come and see my movie on the 18th of uh, this month. I think on Thursday, okay? If you do not, then I cannot guarantee the release of your families. I am the star of over 700 Wadian films. Like you've got Melbom, the 12-year-old virgin, and the uh, romantic comedy about Dominic Strauss-Kahn, Planet of the Rapes. You come and you will enjoy it. Please, relax. No pressure. So everybody, uh, go out and watch The Dictator. Free Wadia! Free Wadia! Hey, free hey, Wadia. Hey, hey. <laughs> don't worry, I don't mind about that. I'm a shame to tell you. Free Wadia! Well, you are a Wadia! Don't worry, you're safe here. Don't worry. So, I'm a shame to tell you. Relax, relax. The interview is finished, and so are you. I know. Please, not. Little gift. Little gift from Germany. But that really is a little gift. Little gift. But it's tiny. It's, it's Daniel Rizzo, this is your name? Yes, it's my name. It was my name because... It was your name? Yes. Uh, this is your show, yes? Yes, it was. Yeah, I met Yeah. Thank you very much. Good, Good start. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you, Mr. Rizzo. And uh, the last time I tried to see you, my hair was... I had a neat haircut. You did, that's right. Now yeah. I can see you better. Yeah. I am Willy. The brother of Odin, so... My uncle. Your uncle. It's good to see you.